Hey there guys, and welcome back to Mana Down Under. Another Commander deck idea today. We're looking at Tajik, Legion's Edge. Now like all Commander deck ideas, it's me just going through the Commander, mentioning combos or cards you might want to know about. No hardcore deck list here, I like to leave a bit of variation, I like people to have a bit of creativity, but I will put anything I mention in this video down below. Um, so Tajik has definitely changed since his old school one. He was all about aggro and that battalion trigger, but now he's a lot more of a control build, especially with that key line of text. So the new Tajik, 3 mana, 3-2 with haste and mentor, but here's the big part we built the deck around. Prevent all non-combat damage will be dealt to other creatures you control. Other. Kind of awkward, but it blankets your team from non-combat damage. Obviously you can pay 2 to give them first strike, but we don't care about that part. So we've built the whole deck around indiscriminate damage, just hit everything on the board, just like our boy Danky here from Boku no Hero Academia, if you haven't seen it, great anime by the way. So. I'm a weeb. <laughs> um, this is an interesting deck. It's kind of like a board wipe control and just swinging because your creatures didn't die. The deck kind of reminds me of Fire Song and Sunspeaker a little bit, just in the sense because we're running a lot of red board wipes, which not many decks do, because um, we need the damage part. So you could run Fire Song and Sunspeaker in the deck and it would work quite well. We'd get all that lifelink out of them. So these are cards which I call the game plan. They support what the deck's already trying to do, and if you can get one of these online with Tajik, Ooh, you will never lose your setup because Tajik blankets other creatures, not himself. But if you have Mark of Asylum, prevent on non combat damage will be dealt to other creatures you control. You protect the whole team. Light of Sanction, you can't self harm. Rune Tail just prevents all damage, and it's a great card. It instantly flips the commander, flips on 30 life. I love playing in my commander decks, my friends hate it. Don't blame them though. Or just simply go Avis and make everything destructible. These cards prevent your team getting hurt from your own red board wipes and hopefully keep your opponent's creatures in check. So, other cards that support the game plan but aren't the blanket protection are things like Light Mine Field, with probably one of the best flavor texts I've ever seen in a magic card. If you want to kill a lot of goblins, just make your defense look fun. What? <laughs> um, but yeah, whenever one or more creatures attack, the Mine Field deals damage to each of those creatures equal number of attacking creatures. We don't care because it's non-combat damage so therefore get prevented, but the opponent, they attack, they will lose creatures. Story Circle is here to prevent us from hurting ourselves with our own board wipes. A lot of red board wipes also hit players or can target players. So we're probably going to name red, and that way when we do a big earthquake or rolling earthquake, we're not going to hurt ourselves. Um, if you are versing a red opponent, sucks to be them, but you could also name another color if they're real aggro or real damage heavy deck. Repercussions is a funny card and can win you the game instantly in this deck. If a creature would take damage, the controlling creature takes that much damage as well. So ours is being prevented, therefore we do not take the damage because it was never dealt, but every time we board white with the red burn spell, our opponent takes the amount of damage we just dealt to all the creatures to their face too. It can instantly kill a player if you set it up right. Good card. Now the burn spells. There are so many red board wipes in Commander that are viable, and these are just the sum of the ones I like and I've picked here. Pyrohemia is probably the dream. I love this one out of all of them because it's an enchantment. The rest of them are instant or sorcery. This one's the only permanent one. Pay one, deal one damage to each player and each creature. If there's no creatures, you've got to sacrifice it, but your creatures aren't dying, so they should stay on the board. This way, you can race your opponent. If you have more mana than them, you're going to find a win somehow. You can keep the creatures in control. Nice and simple. Arrow Devastation, great board wipe for commander. Rips off indestructible for those annoying commanders. Deals 5 damage to each creature and each non bolus planeswalker. We don't run planeswalkers, though we don't care. Star of Extinction can be really fun on this deck. Destroy target land and deal 20 damage to each creature. Now we do run um, Boris Reconor and Spite Mare, or Spirit Mare I should say. And with those cards you could find an insta kill as well there. Nice little combo, we should go into it later. Fire Confluence, just good versatility. You can either splash damage to each creature, each opponent, or destroy artifacts. Can't really go wrong with versatility. Rolling Earthquake and Normal Earthquake are great cards in this deck, they're nice simple, they're cheap. Um, they deal eggs damage to creatures without flying and without horsemanship, and players too. Like I said in a lot of my videos, Portal 3 Kingdoms, I think it's underpriced, great set, especially for the English, look into it. Um, Jai's Immolating Inferno, again versatility, good options. I love the new Deafening Clarion from Guild Ravnica, because you can deal 3 damage to most creatures, which should kill most things in Commander, and give your whole team lifelink. It just supports the game plan so well. Board wipe, lifelink, swing in. Great combo. Right, now for the actual Legion. I've picked a lot of creatures which support what the deck's trying to do in some way or another. So Neheb here, in your second main phase, you get red mana, equal number of life your opponent's lost. 
A lot of your red board wipes do hit players as well, so you can siphon from that. So if you go X10, you're probably going to get 10 mana back on your second main phase on a burn. Really good. Aurelia, we're a Boris deck. We care about combat. Double combat, can't go wrong. Um, Iros kind of supports the game plan as well because he prevents all damage that be dealt to attacking creatures. Just a bit more damage prevention and the deck's got lots of it. Menace, bit of evasion never hurts. And plus he's an indestructible body if he goes online. Good luck dealing with it. And Gisela, well double damage, half damage. Can't go wrong. Makes our burn spells just that more efficient on against players and creatures. Perforos, the god of the forge. We're a Boris deck, we have a strong creature base. Can't really go wrong with him, just going to be trickling life on your opponent. And we have a symbol of legion, so we can set up that little combo. We'll show you that later too. Odric, a lot of Boris related creatures have a lot of important keywords like first strike, double strike, haste, indestructible on your gods here, for example. Why not share it with the whole team? Just more things for your opponent to deal with. Boris Reckoner and Spite Mare are great cards in stack. If they take damage, you get to deal that much damage somewhere else. So if you haven't got your damage prevention online and you start with extinction, for example, you get to direct 20 damage per creature off these two guys. You could find a kill out of it pretty easy. So it could be another combo if you want to. Um, and these guys in the Legion are more of a supporting role as well. Blaze Commando, every time a burn spell deals damage, we get to make tokens. People f seem to forget about this card, but it's actually not too bad. Um, I like the Liege because the buff is handy, plus whenever you play red spell, they lose three life. When you play white spell, you gain three life. It will put a bit of a life point difference between you pretty quickly. Um, protected in the crown and mentor of the maker here for draw. With the Monarch, it's pretty hard for us to lose Monarchy because we're board wiping and we have so much selective removal. Our opponent should never hit us with the creature, hopefully. Um, mentor of the Meek, we've got all the leadies coming in, just draw cards of them. And for the rest of the Legion, just pick good efficient creatures that you like. Um, things that are nice and cheap, low cost of course, um, good keywords on them, double strike, first strike, haste, those kind of things, all relevant abilities. Double strike is great in the deck because of um, mentoring mechanics in the Boros. Crazy with double strike tend to have a lower power, therefore they're easy to mentor, so when they attack the little strike hits even harder. Now to support the deck. Red White doesn't draw the best, so we're going to have our artifact draw pretty heavy in the deck. Staff of Nin, like I always say, keep Planeswalkers in checks and headshot those weenies and draw a card. Can't really go wrong. Skull Clamp works well because we have all these 1-1s running around in a Boris deck typically. The Mortal Sun, it is expensive right now, but it's really good in this deck. We don't care about Planeswalkers, so we, if we shut them off, all well. Your spells cost one less, you draw an additional card, and your creatures get a buff. Great card in the deck. And Sword of Animus does a few things. Helps us ramp. Red White doesn't really ramp except for land tax, which you could run. Um, thins our deck down on combat, and if I have multiple combats too, it's just an all-round good card. Then there's Sunforger. We have a lot of direct removal in the deck. Instance, you can pull them out from the deck with Sunforger. Can't go wrong with it. It's good response to a lot of problems. Assemble a Legion. With Poor Frost we mentioned earlier, you deal 2 damage, then 4 damage, then 6 damage, like the damage ramps up with it. It's very strong and it's a clock. People have to answer or they will die. And it works well with Catholic Crusade because every time a creature enters, all your other creatures get, well, all creatures get a counter on them. So bring an army, bring a bigger army. And of course, LH Nor. This is, um, I believe, the Judge promo one. Great artwork, great text, I should say. Make your opponent's creatures neg 2, neg 2. Just makes your burn spells all that better because it's less money you have to sink in to kill everything. And like always, there's plenty of cards I haven't mentioned. Just make sure you take your own direct removal you like. Your Boros, you have some pretty good removal to pick from. Pick your own ramp, your mana rocks. Probably go for ones that you can sack out mid late game to draw. So your, what's it, um, Mindstone, your Hedron Archive, and whatever the other one is. Pick those kind of things. But yeah, I really like the deck. It's a nice simple deck to pilot. It's easy to understand. Just burn the field, burn their creatures to ash. Your creatures are safe from the fire. Trial by fire, there you go, there's the name of the deck. Um, but yeah, easy. Board wipe, attack, win the game. What mod do you need? Are there any cards you want to recommend for the deck? Anything, any particular board wipes you like over other ones? Um, or if you've got any other combos or plans about the commander, just let me know down below, guys. And yeah, have a good one. See yous. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like and sub and click the bell icon for notifications. It's greatly appreciated. And if you have any deck or video ideas, just suggest them down below. And have a good one, guys.